guys. Uh, so thank you for joining me on this beautiful evening. Uh, I have just finished work uh, and I thought I'd come get some practice in. Uh, I'm here at Wickham Heights, I'm a member here. Uh, but I thought this video, I would introduce myself a little bit more, uh, maybe do a what's in the bag, tell you a little bit about what I want to, to do golf-wise uh, and where I want to get um, and sort of show you through a few holes uh, and just show you uh, this beautiful place uh, and a little bit about my golf swing, a little bit about me. Um, so let's get into it. Um, here down here, fifth hole, uh, par five. Uh, I'll check the yardage. Five hundred yards on the nose. Uh, playing a little short today, but into wind. Uh, good birdie opportunity here. Uh, comes quite nicely uh, if you can par a few of the first. Uh, gives you a good opportunity for birdie. Possibly eagle if you're downwind, which it is occasionally, um, to start a good score. Um, I'm going to hit a shot, um, and then you can join me on the buggy ride, and I'll tell you a little bit more. So I'm just going to aim down the right. I play with the draw. See if we can draw it back into the middle of the fairway. Overdrawn a bit, uh, but I think we're all right. Uh, a little bit about myself. Um, started playing golf when I was nine. Uh, took it up because my dad was playing golf uh, after work with some of his mates. So I tagged along one time for a par onto their par three here at Wickham Heights. Um, enjoyed myself, so thought I'd take it up. Um, really enjoyed playing as a junior. Uh, had a couple of sort of years here playing as a as a par, joining the par three course. Um, played, had my first few lessons here. The pro that I had for quite a long time, uh, I, I found here, um, and then moved on to a, a sort of full-size course. Uh, I didn't join here as a full member. I uh, joined uh, a place called Huntswood, where I was a member from about 12 to about 17 or 18. Uh, my first handicap was 23 and got down to about six when I was 17 or so. Um, played quite a lot when I was younger, but never, being the only junior at the golf club, I never really sort of took it seriously. Um, in terms of as a career, uh, I got or w w wanted to in the back of my mind, but I never had the the someone pushing me to 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 do it or sort of the the county uh, way of going things because I was the only junior, so I played in adult tournaments um, and I never had that next step to go to. Uh, after that, I started playing, uh, started working in golf courses, uh, worked at a few round here locally, um, enjoyed it uh, for a few years, but never sort of got enough time to play golf uh, so I didn't really take it up any further than that. Stopped playing for a couple of years and uh, that's when I became a rock climbing instructor which I am now um, and didn't really play until the last few years ago and then took up the clubs, picked up the clubs again, started playing and sort of this last year really thought that I wanted to give it a go. So um, my thought process, I'm 27 now so obviously I'm not old uh, but older than a lot of the guys that are start playing on tour and stuff like that so some people have obviously laughed in my face when I've said that I've wanted to uh, take it up professionally um, and some have said that it's something I should give a go so I decided that I would give it a go um, and here I am basically doing this uh, let me get some sun on me so you are not in the dark um, so yeah I've given myself basically by the time I'm 30 to try and make it playing as a pro um gonna be tough gonna be lots of hard work um, and lots of disappointment and whether i'll be able to do it who knows but i didn't want to get to to 40 and wish i had given it a go so that's what this is about um i'll be documenting sort of how i go about it what i practice um and everything else about it uh, the people i meet on the way um the journeys i have uh, share my victories, which there will be hopefully, and share my disappointments as well. Um, but any, any other one, any of you that actually play golf uh, will realise that this 
is why we play the game. So got to my ball, just in the rough here, uh, just avoided this bunker, luckily, and got sort of 250 in, roughly, uh, 250 drive uh, from back down there into wind. So um, probably going to hit a hybrid, um, just come up short, hopefully, and give me a little chip in, um, which is quite good uh, on this hole. There's some bunkers to the left. Uh, not sure if you can see those. So that's where we're going. Uh, there's some bunkers. Just let me hold this camera still. Just oh, where we are. Oh, there we are. Just down there. Uh, pins there, and there's a bunker short right. Uh, so I'm going to play down that way. Uh, just leave it short of the bunker. Hopefully, give me like a 30, 40 yarder in. Um, hopefully, chip it close uh, and make birdie for you. Quite a nice lie, um, so if I catch this, wind's just dying a little bit, we might be able to sneak it on the front. Pushed it right in some trees. So, yeah, left myself with this. Pins just out here, bunker to go over, and a slightly restricted follow through. It says 56, bent to 54, a couple of, a couple of stronger, so restricted follow through. Might have to hit something a little bit stronger, because I'm gonna, much power to get through so I think gonna hit pitching wedge I think um, just so I can get over the bunker and it'll probably roll a lot but it'll roll past the pin and if that happens it still gives me a birdie putt birdie chip what I don't want to do is leave it short in the bunker this could be good by shaft Or wrist or both. Hit a stone, but it's over the bunker, just rolls through to the back. So, uh, wrist is fine, shaft is fine. Um, don't worry. Uh, doing these videos, got to look into the camera, usually helps. So, um, you guys, a lot of you have probably followed me through uh, Hole19, the app that we uh, I use, uh, and you can use, free to download. Uh, I'll show you through the links in the bottom. Really good app for, uh, for good community um, and recording some stats and looking at your round and picking fine golf courses, um, course profiles, new thing, awesome. Um, those guys have been helping me a lot. Um, and it's really good to get your encouragement through Hole 19 as well. So if you guys are watching this and aren't on Hole 19, um, go check it out. Brilliant app. Um, other than that, trying to get sponsors, uh, trying to put my name out there, hence these videos, to try and help me as we go. Right, I'm just going to flip this round. So, like I said, rolled through to the back. Um, just here, let's give you a view of that. Uh, it's a lot of, lot of green to work with. Uh, got a chance uh, and maybe sinking it uh, we'll see came from both those trees and the pin is like right behind uh, the bunker there so I didn't have much chance of stopping it really um, 
So I'm happy with that. So we're gonna pop you guys down. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, a little bit more about me. I'll probably do what's in the bag. Another video. Uh, so this one isn't too long, and I, my phone's running out of battery uh, and storage. Uh, need to buy myself a camera. So uh, thanks for checking me out. Go check me out on Hole 19. If you've got any other questions, I'm always on there uh, talking to folks or leave some comments. It's a bump. Uh, leave some comments under the video and I'll try and get back to you uh, as quick as I can. If there's anything else you want to know, feel free to hit me up, guys. Um, if you could follow me on Instagram, that would be amazing, uh, at Salter Golf. Uh, follow me on Hole19, Craig Salter, just give me a follow request. Um, and if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely awesome. And I will leave you with this. Not the bunker where my ball is. My ugly mug. <laughs>